Welcome once again to Game of Theories, where I introduce theories of management, administration, and leadership. Today, in episode thirty-one, we'll explore Victor Room's expectancy theory. Have you ever encountered a situation where someone who should be motivated appears uninterested or disengaged? If so, then Victor Room's expectancy theory. May provide valuable insights for you. The theory's main premise is that individual motivation is a product of three essential factors: expectancy, instrumentality, and balance, which together determine an individual's motivational force. By identifying and addressing these factors, you can create a work environment that promotes increased motivation. Leading to improved performance and outcomes. Expectancy theory is articulated through this equation. First, let's define some terms here. Force refers to the motivational force to perform a task. Motivational force influences the likelihood that someone will choose a particular course of action among various options, especially in the workplace setting. For an organization, it's valuable to predict which employee is most likely to exhibit certain behaviors under given circumstances. The motivational force consists of three essential components: expectancy, balance, and instrumentality. Expectancy refers to your belief that your effort will lead to high performance. If you want to get a promotion, you need to believe that putting in more effort and working harder will increase your chances of being promoted. But imagine that you work for a company where promotions are based on cronyism rather than your effort or performance. In this case, it doesn't matter how much effort you put in your work or how well you perform your duties. The only way to get promoted. Is to be favored by those in positions of power. In such an environment, your expectancy of achieving high performance would be low. Expectancy is related to the concept of self-efficacy, coined by Albert Bandura. The process of motivating people to achieve a performance goal entails both making the goal appealing. And reinforcing their conviction that it is attainable. Balance means the value you place on the outcome or reward. For example, if you offer your team a bonus for completing a project on time and within budget, you need to ensure that the bonus is perceived as valuable by your team members. If the bonus is too small. Or does not align with their personal values and goals, such as recognition or praise from their supervisor or colleagues, their motivation to perform well may be low, even if they believe that high performance will lead to the desired outcome. Instrumentality refers to your belief that high performance will lead to a particular outcome. Imagine you are a manager and you have a team of employees working on the project. As the manager, you need to ensure that the team is motivated and working towards achieving the project's objectives. To do this, you need to establish a clear link between high performance and the desired outcome. For example, you might tell your team that if they complete the project on time and within budget, they'll receive a bonus. By doing this, you are establishing a clear link between high performance and the desired outcome. The team members will be more motivated to perform well because they believe that high performance will lead to the desired outcome of receiving a bonus. However, if the employees are unsure if their high performance will lead to the desired outcome, their motivation may be low. For example, if the employees do not trust that the bonus will be given fairly, or they do not believe that completing the project on time and within budget will lead to a bonus, even though you promised it, 
their motivation may be reduced. In essence, outcomes are viewed as stepping stones toward the accomplishment of goals, transforming the means into ends. Expectancy theory, unlike content theories such as Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs, does not directly address the motives or needs that drive human behavior. Instead, expectancy theory is often referred to as a process theory, focusing on the ways in which motives and goals influence people's actions. These two types of theories can complement one another. Content theories explore the fundamental human motives, while process theories examine how these motives and corresponding goals affect individual behavior. No theory is perfect. What are criticisms of expectancy theory? First, expectancy theory assumes that people make rational decisions based on calculated outcomes. However, you may encounter team members who are influenced by emotions, stress, or group dynamics, which can lead to irrational decision making, choices that are not logically consistent. Or do not maximize a person's self-interest. For example, a team member may prioritize helping a struggling colleague over completing his own task, even if it doesn't maximize his personal rewards. The second criticism of expectancy theory is its overemphasis on cognitive processes. Expectancy theory focuses on cognitive processes. While、well, largely ignoring emotions and personality traits, employees' motivation is influenced by their emotional state or personality rather than just their expectations of success. For example, an employee who has recently experienced a personal loss or is under significant emotional stress might struggle to maintain her motivation and productivity. Even if she believes that her efforts will lead to positive outcomes, this highlights the importance of considering emotional factors when understanding employee motivation rather than solely relying on cognitive processes. The third criticism of expectancy theory is its ambiguity in measuring concepts. Leaders may find it challenging. To accurately assess expectancy, instrumentality, and balance for each team member, as these concepts can be subjective and context-dependent. For example, measuring the balance of a promotion might be difficult, as employees' perceptions of its attractiveness may depend on their career goals, work-life balance preferences, and diverse cultural backgrounds. The fourth criticism of expectancy theory is a lack of consideration for external factors such as organizational culture or leadership styles, which can significantly impact motivation. For example, abusive supervision undermines employees' expectancy by creating a climate of fear and distrust, regardless of the attractiveness of the goals or rewards. It's crucial that we continue to explore and refine expectancy theory, as it holds immense potential to improve our understanding of motivation in the workplace. By challenging its assumptions, testing its predictions, addressing its criticisms, and integrating it with other theories, we can either strengthen its validity. Or identify alternatives that better explain human motivation in the workplace. Your contributions to this field will not only drive scientific progress, but also have a lasting impact on the way organizations manage and motivate their employees, leading to a more satisfied and productive workforces. Thanks for watching this video on expectancy theory. If you are interested in learning more about theories of management, administration, and leadership, be sure to tune in into my future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.
If you want to know more about how to build a theoretical framework for your research, I have published a book titled "Demystify Theories," a workbook for developing theoretical frameworks of educational leadership research. The link of the book is in the description below.